Good humans, welcome to another episode of Spectrum. We do this series to humanize people. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this episode is about paparazzi. Paparazzi. Ooh, I, knew, I knew nothing about that. Yeah, Absolutely know. nothing. But we're about to find out. Enjoy the episode. In my first couple of weeks working, um, Adam Sandler spit on me. Oh. And just two years before that, I was caddying for him at a golf tournament and we were best friends. I know the Kid Cudi version. I know Gaga's version. I know Exhibit's <laughs> version. Like, damn that song, B. I know that song. Yeah, and if any, if any paparazzi says they don't know the lyrics, at least as much as I do where I could sing along if I hear it, and if they say they don't know it, that's a lie too, because it's a song made for us. None of those guys know the lyrics to paparazzi. I'm your biggest Papa, fan. I'll follow paparazzi. you until you love me. Paparazzi. I don't like having photos taken of me. Three, two, one, go. I don't mind photos being taken of me. Obviously, if I was in uh, celebrity shoes, and I was cashing big checks and I was a public figure, I would probably have to get used to it a little bit more. But as just a civilian, you know, I don't mind. I, I love being photographed only for the fact that it's, a, it's memorable, it's a part of history. Uh, you know, you, you, you can relate to something of the past by looking at it, or even nowadays, you can remember a moment. So I love, I love that. I like that answer. It's a good answer. Celebrities. Yeah. I'm not going to strongly agree with it, um, but nine out of ten times, you know, uh, if you take a picture of a celebrity and they don't want you to take a picture of them, you know, there'll be some sort of rude comment that they'll that they'll throw out there. You know, get a real job, something like that. You know, I always rebut with, well, you chose your job and this is what comes with your job, so we're in, in this together. But I won't strongly agree with it just because, you know, um, they don't always treat me bad. I think it depends on what you picture them and they see you what you're picturing. For example, I photographed the Hemsworth brothers surfing. They don't mind it because they look good surfing. But if they couldn't surf like Lee Schreiber, he can't surf at all. He <laughs> didn't like it when I photographed him trying to learn how to surf. He wanted me to delete the images. He didn't like it. Overall, I disagree for sure. Uh, in general, I've had way more positive experiences with celebrities than I've had negative. It depends on you, really. I'm, I'm trying to be nice. At the end of the day, I'm trying. Like, I got attacked by Woody Housen at the airport. Oh, oh yeah, he's an attacker. He he's it. gnarly. Yeah, Woody. That was yeah, me. Woody yeah. Wow. But, you know, it happens. <laughs> in my first couple of weeks working, um, Adam Sandler spit on me. Oh. <laughs> and just two years before that, I was caddying for him at a golf tournament and we were best friends. <laughs> I strongly disagree only because I knew what I was getting into when I chose to become a paparazzo. The way I imagined it at one point in my head that it was gonna be, wow, I meet celebrities, I take their photo, I make some money. I don't take it personal. I don't take it home. I do what I do, whether they woke up on the right or wrong side of the bed, that's up to them, that's their reaction. I'm there to work with them as much as they allow me to work with them, but after that, it's on them, you know, whatever they do and, you know, you just follow the laws, you follow the rules and you work with it, you never work against it. And I, I sleep good at night. I sleep really good at night. Everyone deserves a right to privacy. Three, two, one, go. You gotta have an opinion. You gotta have an opinion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one, right? 
I'd like to say that, of course I agree. I would never go into a celebrity's bathroom or inside of someone's house or inside of a restaurant, outside on the street, walking on the beach. Those are where I sell or get my photos and video. Outside, it's all open. There's, there's two points uh, with the whole privacy thing. Number one, they're a public figure, okay? And if you put it on your Instagram, you're a public figure. There's, there's a meaning there. And there's, there's, a you know, there's a reason why they're a public figure. They're a public figure because they're out in the public. They've given up their privacy somewhat to be a public figure. I've uh, never shot a funeral, and I never will. I think a funeral is pretty um, very, very private, no matter what status of a celebrity. So I've been offered a lot of money to work on funerals, and I, and I will not work on a funeral. Shooting to a, a, a pool and a resort from a hilltop, yeah, I'll do that. People went crazy for the last shot of Michael Jackson. The guy that ran up to Michael Jackson's yeah, ambulance and shot there. inside, yeah. and all those guys that pushed to get that shot. He got lucky. He got a lot of money. My conversation steers towards, I'm gonna take a clean photo, nice fashion, have an exchange, keep it moving, B. I strongly disagree that they, everyone deserves privacy. Now, I know the laws. So I don't have to justify what I can or cannot do because I already know better. I don't have to speak about things that are God off of this because I don't do that because it's common sense. You don't have to even justify it. It's not even in my realm because it's public figure, public domain. No privacy there. My job is exploited. Three, two, one, go. The way I always see it, the way we talk about it on our podcast is that, you know, there's a lot of guys that are, that I consider, I call them savages. They're the, just the aggressive photographers that are always out there to, to exploit whatever they're trying to do. Everybody's different. Some guys make us look bad. Some guys make us look a little bit better. But there is a bad and a good side to this business. What's that old saying? You can't have your steak. You can eat too. Yeah. Right. You're making a lot of money. You're in the public figure. You're out and about. You're going to get noticed, if not by a fan, you're going to get noticed by one of us, and you're going to get your picture taken. If I was an A-list celebrity and I was out and about, I would make sure that I don't take big bites of my burrito, and I would make sure that I don't pick my nose uh, you know, after sipping my coffee. I would just try to be proper in every which way. Let me make sure I got this question down right. You're saying that my job exploits. <laughs> I disagree that it exploits. I'm here to capture a moment for a mass audience. If it wasn't for the mass audience, it wouldn't sell. So there would be no point to even having me on the streets or having me find some kind of newsworthy story. Journalism, whether you like it or not, it's journalism. Yeah, and I've, I've always felt like the celebrities, they, uh, they want us to pay to go see them on movies. They want us to pay and buy their album or you know, go see them in concert. What comes with the millions of dollars in fame is kind of like you were saying, is people are gonna take your photo, people, click constantly to see these people walking out of a burrito stand or, I don't know, going to see a movie because that's the life they chose. And so they chose that life, so I'm just trying to feed the demand. Celebrities benefit from my work. Three, two, one, go. Rick, if you go that way, I'm gonna <laughs> smack you. <laughs> I can't get her fast enough. I, over here. <laughs> I made sure to run over here. Yeah, it's like I would run over here. Of <laughs> course like they do. <laughs> Uh, of course, they benefit from us. They benefit from my photos. They benefit, you know, they got into the game for publicity. They wanted that feel. When they were going to acting school, when they were thinking about the thought, when they were dreaming, when they were 12 years old, nine years old, eight years, who, whatever age, they dreamt about that stardom. That's what hooks you into Hollywood. That's probably why, I know that's why I'm in it. I love Hollywood. So yes, our photographs give them a little more publicity, good, bad, or ugly, it doesn't matter. They stay in the spotlight. They stay. They're, they're relevant. That's why it works. I agree completely with Rick, um, and I'm sure everybody agrees yeah. the same thing, that our pictures benefit them by far. Since the advent of Instagram, um, I've seen more celebrities steal my pictures yeah, that's so. to put on their Instagrams <laughs> to promote their products for free, and they make tons of money on Instagram for their products when they post our pictures. They definitely benefit from us. I'll take, a, I'll take it to a different level. I've had celebrities come up to me and do setups. Yeah. And say, hey, I'll be at the park riding my bike, or I'll All be surfing, time. or I'll be <laughs> bikini. All the time. 
I'll be here. Why don't you come get it exclusive, put it out there so my name's out there so I could get more work. And so I can, I can, I can, I, 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 it's all about I. Yeah. yeah. There's also that aspect where they want to do the cleanup. The Kardashian stories get die, start to die down. All of a sudden, you see them come out in groups <laughs> and yeah. they start hitting all little trendy areas one day after the other. They That's not coincidence. It, the this is strategy. Kate Beckinsale will like circle Craig's until there's enough paparazzi to go in there. Then and she then, gets out in her dress, stops, but then it's like, oh no. You got it? You got it? <laughs> It's adventurous, it's fun, it's exciting, it's dangerous. Um, I'm very proud of it because I touch people and I, I bring out emotion in people. I, I create something out of nothing. I'm, I consider, I never did before, but I guess I consider myself an artist. I've touched someone in life. As long as I do my best work, do my due diligence, I'm not gonna get hurt, and I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I just want to make sure that everything I put forward in the world looks clean, looks proper. I agree. I've, uh, I've, I'm not on the strongly agree part just because uh, there are aspects of the job that I'm not proud of doing. I feel like many pictures I've taken have been viewed by more people than the biggest photographers in the world. There's a way of doing this job proudly, and there's a d way of not doing this job proudly. And I'm sure you contacted a lot of people, and they didn't show up here today. Those are the people that don't do the job proudly. The people that would actually stand here and get on camera and tell you that this, the way this job really is, that's a proud way of doing the job. All right. All right. Good job. Good job. My hand's kind of sweaty, but I'll just go like that. Man. No, no. Good job, good job. <laughs> We should take some kind of group Good picture. Job. Shut up. Mr. Ray. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy right here. I had never met a paparazzi before. But this is interesting because it shows that there's like obviously good people and like different perspectives yeah, and all sure. that. Well, you can't just judge right away. We have a lot more of these coming for you. So comment below, collaborate with us. We love hearing from you. As always, make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, like, comment, and we'll see you next time.